Now, the search is on tonight to find a father accused of the most heinous of crimes, hurting his own 10-month-old boy so badly that he spent weeks in the hospital with a fractured skull. That baby was just released a few days ago. King County prosecutors have charged his father, Thomas Sims, with assault of a child. Federal Way police are asking for your help to locate the 33-year-old suspect. Tonight, Jennifer Lee talked with the boy's mom, who wants justice for Javon. When I look at him, he looks like the same baby. It I can just tell that he doesn't have that spark that he used to. This little guy is Javon Sims. He could have died. It makes me very sad because he shouldn't have to go through this. Police say his own father lashed out in anger and violently assaulted him on August 25th. I stood up to go um, check on Javon and I heard a big scream. His mom says her son was limp and unconscious. Somebody who in the past has been violent with me. I never thought would be violent with their own son. Javon suffered a fractured skull and bleeding in his brain. Doctors tell the mom her boy's injuries were no accident. It was blunt force trauma to the head. Javon spent weeks in ICU recovering from two brain surgeries. Now he needs this tube for food and medication. Prosecutors have charged his own father, Thomas Sims, with domestic violence assault on a child. He shouldn't have to live his life like this because somebody else got frustrated and didn't want to be the parent that they were supposed to be to him. Javon will stay strapped down to a pad just to keep him safe while his body heals. He was always smiling and giggling. His mom you know, says she'll keep him close and yeah, wait for the day Javon is back to being her smiling bright boy. I just want my son to know that I never gave up on him and fought until The person who did this paid for it. In federal way, Jennifer Lee, Q13 News. Well, police think Thomas Sims may be in the Snohomish County or federal way area. He's got a half million dollar nationwide warrant for his arrest. So take one more look at him. He's 6'1", 180 pounds. He takes lift or a bus to get around. He does not have a car. He often wears black rimmed glasses, is a frequent visitor to marijuana shops, and always matches his shoes to his tops. If you spot him, call 911. If you know where Federal Way police can find him, submit an anonymous tip to Crime Stoppers of Puget Sound for a cash reward of up to $1,000. If you'd like to help Javon, we put a link to donate in our story. Go to Q13Fox.com.